Chaos Culture Radio, Prince Hakeem. This is your man, Ronnie Ron. This is your boy, Blue Jordan Air. Let's go. Let's get it. We're going to call this When Entitlement Goes Bad. Um, our beloved, my co-host, has shared a video where, and that, it, it's gone viral, and a lot of y'all have seen it, women sues a man for a uh, for emotional distress after a date. Now, um, we're going to watch the clip, and we're going to attack it. Hold on. Hold on, let me just X these situation out. Because when they see this, they're going to laugh. Let me make sure I got the sound shit working. Oh, this shit working. Y'all can see. Hello. Yeah, we see. We just on mute. We see it. I'm looking here. You know what is it? Intentional affliction of emotional distress. Yes. Is that the claim? Yes, okay. it is. That's that's not something that's really justiciable in in district court. I'm sorry, what do you, I can't hear you. I said that's not something that's justiciable. In, in, in district court. That has to be uh, brought in circuit court. So you said it's not permissible in district court. It has to be um, taken to circuit court? That's an equitable action, yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jordan, let me just ask you this. Are you planning to uh, represent yourself on this? Uh, I... I to be honest with you, sir, I, I, I thought this was just going to be thrown out. Uh, it was we had a date, one date and nothing else after that. And now I'm being sued for ten thousand dollars. It was I don't see how this is going to go any further. I think it's a waste of your time. The problem is this. You know. If you think it should be dismissed, you know, you need to file the appropriate motion. You need to file a motion to ask for that. A letter in that letter, he, he lied. And then that's what brought forth the perjury. It was never perjury in the beginning. It was per perjury after his response. Well, you can't you can't say, listen, he has he has the right to put whatever is in the answer. I'm not, not saying he can't. But you can't do. You can't add another count because you don't like or you disagree with what is in his answer. If he responds and his response is a lie, it's perjury. Then my documents will prove that no, he lied no, and his no, response. No, 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 no. It's his version. First of all, do you understand what perjury is? Yes, I, I even say perjury, perjury is a lie. Is. No, I know you don't. what perjury you don't. means. Perjury is a statement, a, a false statement made under oath. So exactly, what and I got documents that prove he was lying. He you don't put, understand. He, what? He, it's a false statement made under he oath. A under oath. That stated a what lie. did he testify to something that he lied about? It's he, a statement made, a he, false statement made under oath. Bottom line is, you said it's a criminal offense, so I will send it to circuit court. Are we done here? No, no, you don't. You don't understand, ma'am. You don't Are understand. Are we done here? Are we done here? Perjury, perjury Are we done here? is perjury is a false statement made under oath. I know what perjury means. Are we done no, here? No, you don't. Criminal offense or not? What statement? I don't see anything in the complaint that says he made some. False statement under oath. Because you don't know what happened. You're on the outside looking in. 
You don't know anything. But you're the player. You, you have. Wait a minute. You are the player. Are we done here? You have to are lay out here? your allegations are we done here? properly. Are we done here? No, I we're know exactly not. What perjury means. No, we're not. Do not insult my intelligence. You have to. Do not insult my intelligence. You have to lay your. You have to lay your. Please do not you have insult to lay my intelligence. Complaint out. It has. You have to allege this in the complaint. You have Please not. Please do not insult my intelligence. <laughs> it's not about that. You 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 don't think. I don't think you understand what perjury is. It's a Are false statement made here? on Are we done here? Are we done here? I Please said do no. not insult my intelligence. I said no. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not insult my intelligence as if I do not understand what the word perjury means. Do not. If it's a criminal offense, then it's a criminal offense. Do. Well, ma'am, it, it should not have been filed in district court if you want intentional inflection of emotional distress. Okay, so that's a criminal offense. Do you want, are you are you going to dismiss it and refile it? No, I'm not. No, I'm not going to dismiss it. I will file another case in circuit. But as far as I'm concerned, you can't have two cases on the ma'am, you can't have two cases going on the same issue. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not. I'm not dismissing the case. If you want well, to dismiss it, that's up to you. But I, as a plaintiff, am not dismissing the case. He has to make a proper motion. Well, that's on him. But I can also transfer the venue to circuit. Yes, that's what I thought, because there were other cases that should have been transferred somewhere else. So that's OK. OK, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Give me a four. Yep. Right. Get into it. Ma'am, what about his what about his costs? associated with appearing because you filed it in the wrong court? Um, I need to see the... I need to see, because I was not aware, since you said perjury was not on there, I was not aware that a criminal offense for intentional infliction of emotional distress was considered a criminal offense there, that it had to be... I didn't um, say that. Forward. That is not what I said. Yes, that, that is, is not what, what I said. said. That I said, said that, sir. No, I didn't. You yes, said you that. Did. You stated I that. I said that. You, no, no. You stated I said that, that the criminal. You stated that emotional uh, infliction of emotional distress is a criminal offense, and you stated that perjury. I perjury is a criminal offense, but you also stated that criminal that perjury is not on the document that I placed forth before you. So criminal offense would not. It's not in the complaint. On there. It's not so in the complaint. It, I need you to, no, I need you to show me. I need you to show me the document which states that intentional affliction of emotional distress is indeed and in fact a criminal offense because that's the original offense that was placed on there. I never you said that. It, I but never yes, said did. that. What yes, I, you did. I never said yes, that. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. I I'm will repeat either. to you what I said. I'm not either. I so, said so that's two that charges. intentional. So the to, you need to be quiet while I'm talking. You need to be quiet. Can you because mute her, please? Because perjury is a can criminal offense. It has to go to circuit court. That will not make her hear you. Intentional infliction of emotional distress. What I said was, what I said was intentional infliction of emotional distress is something that circuit court has jurisdiction over. I never characterized that as a criminal matter. It is definitely a civil claim, but it is something that can't be done in district court. Now, that's that's what I said to you. You are of the mistaken belief that circuit court does not hear civil matters because you said, well, I thought circuit court only did criminal. You are the one who are mistaken about uh, the jurisdiction of circuit court because that's what you stated on the record. Unmuted. 
she's been talking the entire time. Well, I said I was Judge, moved. excuse me, you don't understand how this works. Let me explain something to you about Zoom right quick. Okay. When I muted her and now I'm asking her to unmute, if she doesn't do something on her end, she's still muted. So right now she's still muted. But I have asked her to unmute. She's not looking at the device that she's holding. I am I am ordering that this go to Seventh Circuit Court. Uh, venue is to be changed because intentional infliction of emotional distress is a circuit court matter outside the jurisdiction of district court. Plaintiff shall pay the filing fees and the receiving uh, court. And I don't know if you asked for a jury trial or not. You did not, it looks like. So there was no jury fee. No further proceedings shall be had after transfer until these costs or expenses are paid. If not paid within 56 days of the date of this order, this case shall be dismissed by the court to who uh, to which it was transferred. That was a headache. It was. It was, but it kind of show you, it kind of give you uh, some more form of idea of uh, how some women, not all, but a small majority of black women are di uh, dysfunctional and very um, divided. They, um, um, the way she was going off with the honor and he was trying to explain to her the whole situation and her emotion got involved. I would kind of tell you sometimes when a woman's emotion kind of could get kind of dangerous at some time because you see that even when the owner was trying to explain things to her, she was mm -hmm. still like being combative, like, oh, I don't want to listen. It's whatever I say. And mind you, what she was stating was wrong. He said, like, this type of matter, you're not supposed to do it in this, this, this type of district court. You're supposed to go to a civil court, which, is, which I think people don't understand, people can't understand what a civil court is. Yeah. It's where, like, you do small little matter. It's nothing like it's nothing major, no, no, no form of criminal. Nothing was formal criminalized was 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 involved here. That way, you say you go to something that's small, like a small court. But he said, no, he did something wrong because he plagiarized. But he's like, you don't even know what plagiarized me because there was even no trial yet. So it's kind of like embarrassing, and that's why I keep telling people, you know, even on this podcast, certain group of black people is making black people look bad that we're not educated and we uninformed. And that's why the whole time I'm laughing, I'm smiling, but. To be honest, it's kind of embarrassing. Like it, it kind of even show that we kind of become an animal even in the court system. So you know, I'm glad this was went viral because now people can see that we got to do better, man. That's my take on it. Yo, yo, she didn't. She she wasn't even professional. She didn't look at. She didn't look in the camera, yo, the whole time, like this. And speaking on the phone like this, it's not looking, not looking, not looking like, yo, you gotta be professional, yo. Come on, you in the court. Yo, man, this is, see, I, I'm glad this got barred, yo. This is, this is showing, like I said, the, like the entitlement you could do to a judge. You lucky she didn't get put into contempt. Because some of these judges don't understand that they, they don't play like that. Mm -hmm. They don't play. So she was, Really, really lucky and all that. But yeah, man, this is, like I said, this is crazy. Like I spent, first of all, what the hell do you need $10,000 for? I know that day wasn't that, that, I know that day wasn't that expensive. I know that $10,000 was no near to me all the emotional distress and everything. So I don't know what she thought she was going to win or all that type of stuff. But man, this is crazy, funny in a way, but and the thing is, like I said, they had to mute her and she's still talking. Now look at her phone that she's still muted and still talking and blabbering every day. Man, that lady loved to talk, y'all. I swear. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this crazy, yo. Like, yo, man. 
if, he, if they said, like, these judges, yo, if they, I know some of these judges see this, like, yo, we can't tolerate that. We can't. But you kind of can see, but Joey, you kind of made a good point. I forgot to mention that, but you made a great point. Is there entitlement? Yeah. Like she felt she, she was entitled and she was right and she was actually wrong. So it's, 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 exactly. Yeah, but these judges are seeing this and went viral. I know this. Oh, no, we're not playing this. We're not playing no games. Oh, hell no. That's my take. Brothers, um, I'm going to be quick about this. Um, there's no sense of taking a responsibility. And the way she acts lets her know that she herself know nothing was going to happen to her. Like, 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 you could tell somebody who knows that, okay, I can act any way I act, which a lot of people, a lot of ladies do act. There's no sense of threat of violence and no sense of threat of recourse that's going to happen to her. She was even allowed to 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 make a to make a a a court case over a date, something that's so stupid. Which me and you know nine out of ten times is gonna go thrown out. The man wasn't saying nothing the whole time. It got so boring he digged in his nose and was drinking. He held his composure the whole time. Are we done here? You know, if a man did that in court. He'll be held in contempt and locked in jail. So now, please, people, tell me, where do you see where do you see the ben, where do you see men run stuff in certain situations? I need you to think about that. That shouldn't even be going viral. She's listen. She's walking through a freaking airport, a freaking airport. Talking the way she want to talk, talking to whoever she wants to talk. Oh, we don't don't insult my intelligence, little mama. You dumb as hell. If you don't know what perjury means, you don't know what perjury means. You ain't never caught a case before. Well, I just drew. Oh shit. That's how bad this shit get. But I'm just saying. That's all I gotta say on it. I said that was disgusting. Ron is right. You was right. Entitlement make black people look bad. Listen, we are a circus show. Black people are a circus show. The shit we do does not make sense. But then they'll call you a coon when you bring out what it what is wrong. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand what is wrong, what the situation is wrong here. You know, she was out of line, she was out of place, but I'm glad that the guy kind of hold his composure. Because it kind of showing like, look, at the end of the day, a man is not really that emotional that people say men ought to be. Because even in a situation like that, remember, it's ten thousand dollars for something that, bro, it was just a day. Yeah. I have one question for you. She did that to a black judge. Was she doing that to a white judge? No, it, no. it wouldn't. Have, it wouldn't have happened. It no. wouldn't even. Gone, it wouldn't even gone that far. But I want to tell you, it's a level of respect. And remember, it kind of showed you the truth, the, the way of uh, how women, black women feel about black men. I could talk, you see how she does? I could talk in this face any type of way. He need to listen to me. A white person, an Asian, the other, they don't do that. Until, it's only the black, because remember, that was the one thing that these men are saying was the truth. We are allowing it to happen. That's the issue. But not only that, but I want to really want to know what the guy saying. I want to know what the you know when the people see it, what they gonna think in the comments. You know, right? Like, like, share, and subscribe. You know, let us know what you think in the comment, man. We go live each and every Sunday, seven thirty Eastern time, man. You know, we love you guys. Thank you for tuning in, KL Culture Radio. We out. Peace. Peace.